in a BT National Muslim Basketball Tour. BT East 2012, holding it down in NYC. We have Brother Ibrahim Jabber here. Uh, where, where are you from? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm from the East Coast. Elizabeth, New Jersey is where my family is at. Mashallah. And uh, tell us about your basketball pedigree. Um, <laughs> uh, University of Pennsylvania, two-time Ivy League Player of the Year, one-time Big Five Player of the Year. Um, I led. I, I hold the skills record, and I have a few other records in the Ivy League. Um, what about after college? I, internationally, I played in Europe, um, in Italy, and in Greece. And um, most recently, I had a segment of time with the Houston Rockets. And now I'm getting ready for, uh, inshallah, vet camp. Uh, with, you know, one of the NBA teams in Charlotte. Um, in Charlotte. I, I heard that you took kind of like a year off, you were doing some studying. Some um, did I did some studying. I took the opportunity also to make my highs, um, fulfill that obligation, um, help my family um, to build some businesses, you know, on the Islamic um, propagation. Um, so I just took this year to set some stuff up for the future. Can you tell, you know, we have a lot of young brothers that come watch these videos. Give them, you know, a piece of advice why should, they should stick to the dean, why, you know, why come out to NBT, what, you know, what the benefits are, I guess. In general, why stick to the deans? Well, a lot of times, firstly, we look at Islam as like an obligation, but we should start looking at it more as benefit. It's that it's designed for us and to help us to reach our potential. And I can say that most of my success, if not all of my success, inshallah, is attributed to what I understood and what I gained from Islamic pra practice, the discipline, the mentality, just the basic etiquette of a person, it helps strengthen you in every aspect of what you do in life and it carried over into the basketball court. Are you a motivational speaker? <laughs> I do a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, tell us, you know, what do you think about NBT, you like the atmosphere, anything that you enjoyed, you didn't, even if you didn't like something, what would you think? Muslim brothers. One time when I was at the Rockets, they kind of did a, what is it called, uh, My Father, who's yeah. like, and I was like, where am I? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, when you get to hear the Fatiha and something that you're familiar with and something that you believe in, you know, the basketball is almost secondary, you know, but Alhamdulillah, it's a great environment, it's a great um, opportunity for young Muslims to get together and just, you know, have fun together. You know? uh, that's a great, that's a great point of view. A lot of our, uh, our young brothers, you know, even us in general, when we're playing leagues, you know, we go through that, that you, know, you know, we're the only Muslims, there's a, a lot of, you know, different nationality, uh, religions around, and it's a good opportunity for us to come together. You know, before you, before you guys leave, do you think you guys are going to come out to the championship tournament? I know if SOA comes out, if Slays of Allah comes out, you might be a little iffy about coming out, I understand, but, you know, what do you think if we gave you guys an invite to Chicago? Um, you got to talk to the, uh, the general manager, you know what I mean? <laughs> you the one to put the team together, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it depends on where I'll be at that time, inshallah. Okay. But, so know. he doesn't—he didn't sign you to like a three-tournament contract. Yet. No, no, I'm, I'm not under so contract. You're a, okay, so you're a free agent. I'm gonna have to talk to you. I have an extra jersey for you. Uh, anyway, we're signing off. Number two, number two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>